Oh, we gotta do both, hold on. <sighs> this is a weird video, guys. Hey, Nibots, I'm back, and today we're gonna be checking out some of this summer's newest soft or plush toys. Now, I do have quite an assortment of different items to show, so hopefully there's something for everyone and uh, you find something you like, or at least now you know that you don't like something. All right, ow, that was a little too much enthusiasm. Time to start touching some soft stuff. Just pretend you can feel what I feel, minus that big hand clap, because it was quite painful. To be honest, because it's the smallest, we'll start with Squeezemo Series 3. The box isn't squishy. So basically I was sent this box because I like things that are squishy and scented and whoever sends the squeeze mill stuff out wanted to see what I'd think of the new series and their smells. So here is the box they sent me. It says squeeze mill and all four sides are covered in cute little characters and it says that this is series three and they are grape scented. It doesn't smell like grape, it smells like watermelon. You guys get to see first cause I'm so nice. Is it great? Is it awesome? Can you tell me something? Not helpful, guys. This is everything that came inside the box they sent me, and uh, it's stuff. I can't see it. Oh, they're really cute. All right, let's do this. Looks like I got sent five of their medium or regular sized squeezable characters. We've got a tie-dye octopus here, a purple koala, a little denim elephant, a pearly white seal, and then this pink curly unicorn. Now we're at the table, I've got my box, and we're gonna check these guys out one at a time. I'm gonna start with Candy the octopus first because she is so cute. The fabric is all mixed tie-dye with lots of pastel colors, which I love. She's got teal eyes with little white star reflections, pink cheeks, and a big orange smile. And she also has three orange spots on her forehead and additional fabric attached to her bottom to be her tentacles or something. I actually think she's super adorable, but she reminds me more of a jellyfish than an octopus. Attached to her bottom is a tag, it says squeezables, and they're recommended for children over the age of three, and it says that it's scented in watermelon, which I find kind of funny considering the box specified that they were scented in grape. Inside you'll see all the different characters you can get this series. Before I move on, I'm quickly gonna check out her stitching to see if there's any loose threads or anything pulling off of her, and to be honest, it doesn't look like it. And now we'll give her a quick squeeze before she goes. Oh, that was too quick. They say that they're slow rise, but they're really not that slow. Next, here is Kala Koala. She's light purple with a white tummy and big fuzzy white ears. She's got two purple little feet, a big black nose, black eyes with white star reflections, and two pink cheeks. Give her a little check to make sure nothing is tearing off or loose. And she looks pretty good, so we'll give her a squeeze. There it goes. And this one is also scented in watermelon. Next up we have a light blue denim elephant named Eddie. He's got two little blue feet, one of which seems longer than the other, as well as big floppy ears. The insides are metallic pink with a ton of shiny silver polka dots. This little guy's got a purple embroidered trunk, some pink cheeks, and bright blue eyes with white star reflections. Now I don't know, is it just me or does this not look like the best, brightest embroidering you've seen on a squishy? And nothing seems to be loose or have bad stitching. It's actually really great. Oh, look at that. I almost missed this. He's even got a little springy tail. <laughs> Let's give it a squeeze. Ooh. <laughs> there you go. Once again, watermelon. You know what? The front says watermelon, so I'm just gonna assume that they all are, and basically I'll tell you if it's not. Next up, we have Snowy the Seal. It's pearly white and it feels like pleather, and it's very, very shiny. I feel like I'm holding a balloon. He's got two little fins, a tail in the back, dark black eyes, pink cheeks, and a little black nose with embroidered whiskers. And everything looks like it's stitched on really well. They all seem to be really good quality, actually. And now let's give him a squeeze. I feel so evil, I feel like I'm poking their eyes out. Next up, we have Ursula the Unicorn, and she's like a bubblegum pink. And I don't know for sure what this fabric is, but it reminds me of eyelash yarn. She's got some little pink fuzzy feet, as well as tail and ears, except the insides are metallic silver, and they match her horn, which also has a blue embroidered spiral. And then just behind that, she's got a light pink fuzzy mohawk with little strands of silver tinsel. Moving down to her face, we can see that she's got bright blue eyes with white star reflections, some light pink cheeks, and a small embroidered pink smile. All of her little attachments, as in her feet and tail and everything, seems to be attached pretty well, but because her hair is sort of like a yarn, a little bit of it does seem to be coming off. Give her a little squeeze. There we go. And now we've checked out all five of the big squeezimals. 
time to get micro. Each package will have three characters inside, two of which are visible and one which is a surprise. Just like the bigger characters, these are scented in watermelon and are apparently slow rise. But just so you know, the smaller it is, the quicker it rises. These characters are from series two and this product is recommended for children over the age of three. Place that to the side for now. Here are my two micro pets. First up, we have this little dog. It's got a white body and feet with two big purple patches over its eyes as well as pink floppy ears. It's got blue eyes, pink cheeks, and a little brown embroidered mouth with a tiny pink tongue. And it does in fact smell like watermelon. Next up is a purple bear. I'm not exactly sure, but whatever it is, it's cute. It's got a light purple body with a darker purple face as well as the inside of its ears. He's got yellow eyes, pink cheeks, and a little brown muzzle with a black embroidered nose and mouth. Squeezy, squeezy. And now it's time for our mystery character. Little box. Oh, hey, there is a little checklist. Sweet. What do we got? It's Ursula the bear. Like Ursula Major. Clever. Hey, that's weird. The unicorn's name is Ursula. They could be besties. And who was this? Really? Louis the Spaniel. Time to open up my blind bag. Oh, it's shiny. Oh, it's a narwhal. I don't even know where my voice just went, but guys, we have a purple, shiny, metallic narwhal, okay? Yes. And there are a few sections of him that are white covered in shiny silver polka dots, which includes his belly, his two fins in the front, and his horn. He's got blue eyes, pink cheeks, and a little blue embroidered mouth, as well as a little purple tail in the back. Is he still watermelon? The answer is yes. What is its name. Jurgen. His name is Jurgen. Oh, I love him. <laughs> I love him. And guess what? Jurgen will love him too. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am great. You gotta tell yourself that sometimes. All right, time for our final three squeezimals. Doing it. E. All right. First up, we have this cute little black and white penguin. He's got little black wings, cute little yellow feet, purple eyes, pink cheeks, and a little yellow embroidered beak. Mine has a bit of yellow thread coming off, but it doesn't look like it's pulling anything with it, so I'm just gonna snip it. Hopefully that does not continue to unravel. As for the rest of it, it all looks pretty great, and if you're worried about this part, it's just where I cut off the tag. Just pretend you can't see that. Oh no, wait, there's a little pink string too. Hold on, does it pull? Nope, must just be extra. Cut that little loose thread too. And his name is Quincy. Let's give him a squeeze. And we'll move on to this cute little white puppy. He's got two little white feet and two big floppy ears. One is white, the other is gray. He's got blue eyes, pink cheeks, and a little brown embroidered mouth with a pink tongue. And lastly, one big gray patch over his right eye. Oh, and I almost missed it, but he's got a little fuzzy tail too. Let's check to see if anything is pulling off. No, and I don't see anything, but once again, he does have this little bit of fluff here, and that is from the tag that I cut off. And according to the checklist, his name is Sazzle. Please. Squeeze, squeeze. And now comes our mystery, but I'm gonna see if I can make a guess. According to the checklist, there's quite a bit here that we have an opportunity to get, which even, in ah! which even includes a B, but I won't, ha, <laughs> B but, <laughs> but I won't get that. I'll probably get like Sheldon the crab or an owl or that little monkey. I don't know. Let's open our blind bag. Oh my gosh! Oh, I actually got the B! <gasps> Look, he's derpy. Look, he's just, he's leaning to the right. I don't care. I can't believe it. Ooh, the puns, the puns are real. I feel like I'm only gonna talk about this bee from now on. Okay, <laughs> after I'm done checking this little guy out, I will not mention him again. I'll just say that I like squeezimals or whatever it might be. <laughs> this is exciting. What's our bee's name? Bronwyn. This is Bronwyn the bee, and she is adorable. She's got iridescent heart-shaped wings, a bright yellow body with a brown strip right along the bottom. She's got bright red eyes, so she looks kind of demonic and also a bit like Pikachu, as well as pink cheeks and a little black embroidered mouth. <laughs> I got a little buzz. buzz. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm so excited. Buzz. I'm really, really happy to say that there does not appear to be anything loose or coming off of her. I think I'm going to start collecting as many bee things as I can and just make a bee video for you guys one day. Tell me if you'd like that. Anyways, time to give her a squeeze. Whoop. 
And once again, she smells like watermelon. Okay guys, that was all of my squeezimals. Not gonna lie, because these were sent to me, I don't really have a price for you. However, I will say that at Toys R Us, these guys here cost $6 as their regular price. So in the States, it's probably gonna be about $3.50 to $4. To be honest, I'm just guessing. As for the micro squeezimals, I have never actually seen these other than in the mystery boxes. So your guess is as good as mine for that price. And now we'll move on to our next soft toy of the summer. Next up, we have this mystery crate. And it was sent to me by Moose and Little Live. In fact, I have a second one. But don't worry, they are different items. I'm gonna have to move way back so that you can see. Here we go. Camping with cozy dozies. I guess we have our answer. So they sent me this. I'm not sure if they're gonna include information inside as to the price, but I'll tell you right now, these just hit the shelves at Toys R Us for me and they were $45. So you might wanna Google it to find out what it costs, where you live, and if it's out yet, just in case you end up liking it. Oh, it's so cute. There's my little bear. We'll check it out better in a sec. This box is making me feel a little claustrophobic, so I just wanna get it out of the way. And it looks like they sent me a bedazzled yellow lollipop, a really cute little tote bag, a bag of pink and yellow candy-coated popcorn, and then a s'mores that is already melting. So that's kind of freaking me out a bit. Everything else in there just looks like fluffing, but just to make sure, I'm going to check. That way I don't miss if there were any instructions. And there's not. So, bye bye And now we can check out this super cute little cozy dozy. Don't you love how everything is cute until you find a flaw? And I'm not saying that there always is going to be a flaw, it's just if there is one, I will find it. Hopefully not on this guy though, he is pretty cute. And now we're just gonna check the box for all the info we need before we shred it to bits. This is our cozy dozy, and apparently its name is Cuddles the Bear. These are recommended for children aged four and up, because technically I guess it includes small parts, although I don't really see it, unless they're just being super cautious about like the eyeballs or nose falling off. You gotta cover your bases and try to avoid lawsuits. Good on you, little live. Back to this. Apparently there are going to be over 25 different sounds and reactions. We can tickle the bear, wrap it up, soothe it to sleep, give it the pacifier, soother, dum-dum, passy, whatever you call it. Basically we're gonna make him happy and then make him sad over and over again just to see what he does. And the best news is that the batteries are included. The last thing I will point out is that the container is pretty one-sidedly heavy and it just sort of tips to the right because Cuddle's got a big brain. Trust me, I know the burden. Other than that, there's nothing else to really point out, so let's open it up. And for that, I'll need scissors. Okay guys, originally I was trying to save the bed so that we could reuse it, but to be honest, it's not really happening. But if you wanna try it, I wish you loads of luck. Please send me pictures, otherwise I won't believe you. All right, we did it. So it was actually pretty easy to take Cuddles out of the package. He was only held in by four strings. And there's one more holding his blanket shut. I lied, there are two more. And since it's off now, we'll check out the blanket first. This is very soft. It almost feels like one of those minky blankets, if you know what that is, uh, then you should know what I am feeling. For those of you who don't, it's just very soft. We have a light purple blanket covered in itsy bitsy teeny weeny little stars. I bet you thought you knew what I was gonna say, but you were wrong. And lastly, we have two pieces of Velcro so that we could attach the blanket around our bear. And now our cute little bear. He's very soft and fluffy, but he does have a hard head and stomach. All of his paws has a little brown patch of faux leather. He's got a white muzzle, a little plastic brown nose, and a mouth that has a gap in it. So I'm assuming it's going to move when we get him to do his electronic stuff. And then buried somewhere in all this fur, there's some little blue eyes. Now that the details are out of the way, I'm quickly gonna check to see what the quality is like so that we can move on and start testing our bear. And to be honest, everything looks pretty good, which is fantastic. Cause like I said, this is $45 Canadian. So depending on how much you pay, you don't want your bear to fall apart. And the last thing the bear comes with is a little pink pacifier attached by ribbon to his body. So you're not gonna lose it. Now all I'm gonna do is stick it inside his mouth. Oh, he's sleeping. Oh. He's dreaming. Ready? Wake up. Okay, I think this is in try me mode, so there's... I'm gonna put that back in. Shh, shh. At the back of the bear, if you open the Velcro, there is a little switch. I'm just gonna turn it on. Now I'm gonna try one or two of the things that were suggested on the box, such as tickle. I must be boring. You know what, it's okay, I have been... I have been told that I soothe people to sleep. Can we? <laughs> Stop! Okay, I, 
I'm just gonna take a look. There must be some kind of sensor in there or a very, very touchy button. And I'm just tapping them. Time for your pacifier. Take your soother. How are you laughing with a soother in your mouth? I think I should be able to rock him to sleep. Good night, cuddles. Good night, cuddles. Good night, cuddles. Stop annoying Jen. It worked, guys. Ow. No wonder he's laughing at me. I've been calling him Cuddles. His name is Cubbles. Okay, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. But anyways, this is Cubbles the Bear, and it actually is pretty cute. Now, I tried rocking it to sleep, I tried tickling it, and I tried listening to the different sounds it makes, but to be honest, they all just sort of sound like sleepy noises, like snoring, humming, little dreams, giggles. So I think that's basically what the 25 sounds are. The only thing I've left to try is wrapping it up in the blanket. And good news is, I'm a mom, so I'm pretty much a pro at this. Bad news is, I'm gonna have to turn Cubbles the Bear back on to see what happens when we wrap him. For somebody with a mouth full of pacifier, he sure laughs a lot. There we go, Cubbles is now wrapped, and honestly, the sounds are still the same. In the end, it's a very cute bear. I turned it off again. <laughs> it wouldn't stop. Anyways, in the end, we have a really cute bear with moving eyes and a bunch of different sleep sounds, plus super annoying laughter. The quality seems really good, and it is actually super soft. I have no doubt that children will like this, but the question is, for how long? Because I've been holding it for about three and a half minutes, and I've turned it off four times. But I'm not the target audience to be fair. So, to a preschooler, I'm sure this would be fantastic, at least until they get bored. But the real question is, will their short-lived entertainment be worth $45? Slash whatever the cost is wherever you live. That I will leave up to you. Next up, I have this really cute bunny. Ooh, hold on. I bought this at Toys R Us for $20, mostly because it reminded me of a really animated version of something from like Snow White, but it actually has a pretty cute feature too. Notice these super blushy cheeks right about there, not wherever I was just poking. Well, well, they are actually heat sensitive, so you can either cover them up with your hands or random body parts for an undetermined amount of time until they change, or you can do a little something like this. Hey bunny, how's it going? Come over. Closer, closer, closer. Good bunny. Let me breathe on your cheeks. <sighs> something like that. But anyways, it's for the purposes of the video, I'm just I just want to show you the cheeky disappearing act. Alright? Okay. <sighs> doing? <laughs> this poor bunny. Oh, we gotta do both. Hold on. This is a weird video, guys. This is a weird one. Hold on. Ready? Okay. Hold on. No, the heat is removing. Here we go. Three, two, one. There. Oh, it's coming back already. Oh, the air conditioning is too cold. And I'll bring it back instantly. Ready? I love him. We can't really base it on that one trick alone, so we do still need to check out the rest of the actual plush. So let's do that. Here's my bunny. For the most part, its body is all white, excluding patches on the sides of his head, his ears, a little bit on his belly, and all four paws, which are gray. And then this big bushy pink cotton tail. It's a very soft, plushy material. It feels like a fleece blanket. And when it comes to the actual squishability or firmness, it's very tightly packed. It doesn't give a good squish. It's Definitely a stand-up plushie. Now, as for the attachments, everything seems to be on there very nicely and I don't see anything coming off. And when it comes to the embroidered details, they look amazing. Vibrant, firmly attached, and then of course he wouldn't be a really cute bunny if he didn't have a set of little chiclets. So right in front, we've got a little white piece of felt that's meant to be his teeth. Now you're probably thinking, Jen, is this really worth $20? And the simple answer is probably not. But for me, I saw it across the store and I was instantly drawn to it and then when I actually got there and saw how cute it was and those heat little cheeks, I couldn't say no. Also, they had a cow. Actually, there's a whole bunch of different animals. And please don't be surprised if you ever see them somewhere in the background in the future because, to be honest, they're really cute. <laughs> Time for my last item of the day and it is the second crate. Now, just like the first package, this was also sent to me. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's new from Little Live and Moose again. I'll try to show you guys first this time, but it's so huge, it makes me feel trapped. What's in there? Ah! What's in there? Do you see stuff? Of course not, the lid fell down again. All right, that didn't work. We've got scrap gloves! But it's different. Oh, and we have a paper. So in Canada, you'll be able to purchase this at Toys R Us, Canadian Tire, and Indigo Books, and it's supposed to cost $50. So my fake knowledge of Canadian to US prices tells me that it's probably gonna be about 30 to 35 in the States. 
Thank you. Guys, I'm not even lying. <laughs> I actually got that in the box. <laughs> I should be a basketball star. We already know the deal with Scruffaloves. If you haven't seen any of my Scruffalove videos, I'm sure there will be one up here somewhere. Go ahead and click it, enjoy it. Maybe scroll through my videos and find the others. And if you like them, come on back and watch this one. But for those of you who have already seen them, guess what? We have new Scruffaloves. The only difference is this time, they're copying Puppy Surprise. But for real though, this time they are families. We're gonna wash the pet, find out if they're having twins or triplets, and then groom them so we get ourselves some pretty ugly looking pets. But it's okay, because we're also going to get 10 surprises. These are for children aged two and up, and each box will contain one mommy, which will be either a cat or a dog in a mystery color, as well as two babies. According to the list on the back, it says two, but according to the friend, you have the possibility for triplets. So they're either covering their bases and saying you'll get at least two, or it might flat out tell you if you are smart enough to read the back. We'll find out in a minute. In addition to that, we're going to get a collar and a locket, as well as some stickers to go inside of the family, plus a brush and bottle, two baby jumpers, an adoption certificate and the instruction manual. And I'm just gonna say it because somebody has to, but you can't say that they're surprises if they show and tell you what they are on the back. I'm just saying. But one thing that is kind of cool is we will get to find out whether or not our babies are boys or girls because they will have heat changing stomach hearts. Nope. They will have hearts that change. Nope. They have hearts on their bellies that are heat sensitive, just like the penguin in one of my last videos. I'm not, I'm, no, that's okay. Yep, you get it. Anyways, let's open it up. There's a bit of a tear strip, but not because it doesn't say tear here. So I'm just, I'm just going to do it. Ugh. So close. That was really sticky stuff. Here are the instructions, but to be honest, I know how to make a scruff of love. I've made them many times. If you don't know and you care to know, then check out one of those other videos as I previously mentioned. And here is my mama's scruff. We're gonna have to do this down on the tabletop where you can see better in a few minutes. But right now I'll tell you that it is very pink and very sparkly. It kind of looks like a giant hairball. The big ball of fluff came in this purple plastic pet bed. It kind of looks really pretty, I'm not gonna lie. So I might actually keep this. Off to the side we have a cardboard surprise area with little perforated spots for us to peel back and reveal our surprises. If only we knew what they were. <gasps> Spoiler alert, if you turn it around, you can see what everything is, so we won't do that. Instead, we'll go down to the table so that we can turn this ball of scruff into a mama fluff. In fact, I'm gonna name her mama fluff because they're always fluffy. I have my water and now I'm ready to give my mama scruff her bath. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop it in. Usually I would skip this part because I've done so many Scruffalove Love videos before, but I do want to see what the difference will be since she's supposed to have babies in her belly. Oh, they're not in her belly, she's just holding them. Well, that's kind of not as fun. So I'm just gonna keep judging these around in the water to get rid of some of that glue residue that held them in their ball shape. Then I'm gonna dry them off camera and come back to show you what they look like. All right, scratch that. I couldn't find my blow dryer, so I decided to cheat and stick my little family of fluff balls into the dryer on a low setting. And since I don't wanna be doing nothing, I'm gonna go ahead and open the rest of these little surprises so that we're ready for our pets when they're dry. This little area that held our giant mama fluff was labeled as number one. So naturally, we'll go on to number two. And we've got ourselves a purple pet brush. Now a lot of you guys did tell me after my penguin scruff of love video that this brush here is actually meant to groom horses, which I didn't know. So thank you for sharing that info with me. And I'm really sorry to say that I've already forgotten what it's called because I have a bad memory. Go ahead and yell at me a few more times in the comments and I'm sure I'll get it right next time. Here's our third surprise. It's a teal collar with little hearts all over it, as well as a purple locket that says Scruffaloves. When we open it up, there's two empty sides where we'll be able to put stickers. Number four is our stickers. Now they are pretty smart because they've given us all the stickers that are necessary to complete your family, whether you got a cat with twins or triplets or a dog with twins or triplets. And it doesn't matter if you got pink or purple because they covered that too. Number five. We've got a pretty big pink bottle here. It's a hard plastic rubber with a strawberry on the front and a heart on the back. And it's only to play with. It's not meant to take in water or actually feed your babies. Number six. We've got our little baby jumpers. One is two shades of pink covered in hearts and the other is two shades of blue covered in stars. And our seventh surprise is our adoption certificate. It says, I promise to give my Scruffaloves a lifetime of love, care, and fun. And then you just get to name them whatever you want. And then down at the bottom it says they were born on and then there's a peel to reveal section. But just in case it spoils a surprise, I'm gonna wait till I have my pets, which should actually be dry right about now. 
All right, guys, here is my scruff of love. It is all dry. It's still slightly damp on the belly, as you can see, because it's not super fluffy, but the end result is very much the same as the original scruff of love. We're left with a flat, squashed looking, run over animal. And I'm sure with time and a bit of love and squishing, we can move some of that cotton around inside to get it a bit more plush. For now, we're just gonna leave her as is because this is her natural look. And in case you couldn't tell, she's a cat. There we go, she's got her collar. Now we can open up the locket and put in some stickers, which are right here. And since we have the pink family of cats and we saw that she had two babies, we know to use the top one. There. Aw, okay, that actually is a cute little addition. Before we move on, I'm just gonna give her a quick check. It's hard to do because she's got so much fur, but her eyes are firmly attached. So is her super hidden tiny nose, as well as her ears, which are really pretty shiny purple with silver polka dots on the inside. And all of her paws do have pink little embroidered patches to make them look like actual paw prints. To be honest, my end remarks are the same as all the scruff loves I've checked out, excluding the penguin. I'm just not a fan, and I think, to be honest, I'm kind kind of done with them because the end result is never what it looks like on the box and it takes a lot of work to get it to look even semi close. So at $50, not gonna lie, I still don't think I'm a super fan even if some of the stuff in this set is cute. She still looks angry even though I found her face. I mean, come on. Maybe she'll be happier once she has her little kittens. And now we'll check out our babies. They have short, soft fur, and it does not require any brushing. And to me, they kind of look like something you'd find at the dollar store. Just like the Mama Scruff, they are pretty thin. There's not much cotton stuffing on the inside, but maybe over time, if you squish them around, they will get a little pudgier. This one here is red with a cream color for the inside of his ears. It also has blue eyes, as well as a very hidden, tiny pink plastic nose. On its belly, there is a heat-sensitive embroidery purple heart. Dragon breath has been activated. Three, two, one. <sighs> oh, it's a boy. Next up we have our light pink kitten. It's the exact same as the first one, except that it's got purple eyes instead of blue. And now we breathe. <sighs> ah, I got hair in my mouth. Here we go. I am ready for the reveal. Three, two, one. It's another boy. And not that boys or girls can't wear whatever they want, but it would have been cool if these jumpers had been double-sided. So one side blue with the stars, the opposite side pink with the hearts. That way you didn't have to choose. But oh well, let's just go ahead and put it on. Looks great. And here's the second. Woo. Here is my birth certificate. I think I kept calling it an adoption certificate earlier, so just ignore that. I've gone ahead and named her Mama Scruff, and the twins are called Fruit and Loop. And now all we have left to do is peel to reveal this little tab. That was not much of a surprise. Apparently they were born on January 1st, 2019. I wonder if all of them are different. If you get this pet, please let me know down below if you have the same birth date as my two twins. And that's the end of the scruff of love. Hey guys, that's it. We've opened a ton of brand new stuffies, squishies, and soft toys that are set to come out this summer. And hopefully after watching all those different openings, you have a better idea of something that you might want versus something that you can skip. Since I opened so many different things today and gave my final thoughts on each one as I reviewed them, I'm not gonna do that right now because it would just be long and boring. And if you watched it, then you already know. So instead, I'm just gonna wrap up today's video and let you tell me whatever you want in the comments. If you know somebody who would enjoy watching this video because they like colorful octopuses, weird giggling bears, or just me in general, then please share this video with them. And if you enjoyed this video yourself, then please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. You can let me know down below what you liked or didn't like, or if there's any one toy here that you would flat out avoid so that you never had to deal with it yourself. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!